Good morning. This is day one of my uh, self retreat video project um, where I'm going to record a video every day um, reporting how I'm doing, what I'm what I set out what I'm set out to do. Uh, and the primary goal is to observe my own behavior, obs observe my own experience in as non-judgmental way as possible and just learn from myself and befriend myself in a way. Mm. I decided to do that uh, some time ago and I was planning to start uh, in a few days actually uh, when I would be uh, changing places and I'll be living in a place where I, the environment for cooking is <laughs> slightly better for me so I can uh, keep my diet more easily. Mm. But then I was thinking about it uh, last night when I was on the plane. So I always like to do my thinking on the plane where there's nothing else to do. And I thought about it and actually I decided to start this morning, today. Um, and I want to like discuss, I want to, I want to, I want to think out loud whether it's, w w when is the best time to start. And if the primary goal was the diet for me that I need to uh, start from day one strict diet and then achieve certain goal at the day 100 then probably starting like in a, in a new environment uh, with better equipped kitchen for example um, would definitely be a good idea to, to start on that day um, but when I think about it then my my primary goal is not really to achieve better um, body composition, to, to, to improve my diet, to uh, read more books or, or to lift more weights. Although these are the things that I'm definitely huh, will be, I'll, I'll definitely focus on uh, during my project. Um, the primary goal is to learn from my behavior, observe myself, observe my experience as I'm doing right now and and then learn from it in what I mean by that is um, I want to live my life in a way that I observe myself in the first place I observe w why I do what I do and then as opposed to um, forcing myself to do what my conditioned mind uh, thinks I should be doing that I'm supposed to do based on on uh, on how conditioned my mind was uh, in the past um, like expectations from other people like society standards and so on this way I don't want to live my life basically and I think the, the first approach is is, is much better uh, based on my experience based, based what I learned observing my experience um, and I think 100 days is is, is just like um, a period of time where I can um, make a habit of it um, more sustainable, make this habit more sustainable, um, and then live for the rest of my life that way. Um, and the primary task that I want to have every day, that I decided to have every day, um, is to report it on the camera. Report. How I'm doing, how I'm how I'm being actually. Um, so throughout the day, I want to have as many moments as possible, as many aware moments as possible. So as as much as I can, just go back to myself, like reconnect with myself, and just just observe what's happening inside, in relationship with what's happening outside. And just an example, what, what, what I, when, when I'm saying. Um, I want to learn why I do what I do is for example if I if I feel lonely um, and I end up in, in a casino for example or I, or I end up like really high on drugs or drunk then rather than um, automatically forcing myself with condition mind this is wrong this is wrong I should be not taking drugs or I should be not drinking alcohol or I should not be gambling away my money uh, then 
I don't want to do, do it that, that way. I want to take a slightly different approach, or maybe not so slightly different approach, but I want to start from the point where I feel like shit, but obviously there is a lot of guilt after behaviors like, like I mentioned, behaviors that I mentioned. Um, so I want to start from there. I want to feel how I'm feeling when I'm feeling like shit, basically. And, you know, it's already okay. It's like I'm breathing, I can feel my senses, and, you know, I'm still alive. And I want to start from accepting this moment and then learn why, like, what brought me to these uh, bad actions. And in this hypothetical example, um, I assume that the reason is loneliness. So then I can think of, like, what, what can I do about my loneliness? Is it, like, just a matter of uh, going outside and, and chatting up to random people? Probably not. Then what else can I do? And just trying to think about, like, in which situations, so again, learning from my behavior, in which situations I felt, um, I felt um, not so lonely. So when I felt connected with other people, and how can I go back to these situations? How can I create more situations like that in the future? So this is an example of 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 of, uh, of the goal I have on my mind when uh, creating uh, this project. Um, so I can say that like the the long term, the most important reason for me to try to start this project is that I I have already a lot of evidence from my life and from life of others that this is the best type of self self development the best investment in yourself that, that you can do that I can do I prefer to uh, talk about myself and this is another thing I want to point out is that I don't want to teach you I don't want to teach anybody but I'm more than happy to learn with you learn with anybody who is interested in the subject uh, by actually analyzing my own life case studies or case study of others uh, if I have like um, question or, or someone shares some problem in their life with me I'm more than happy to analyze it to discuss it and learn from it as well uh, so so like I said that this is like the most important reason but the most direct reason in my in my own paradigm uh, was that I felt I felt very lonely uh, over the last uh, two months and I started like again learning from this I started improving things and I have to say that over the last two weeks Mm, the problem has pretty much been resolved like short term I spent a lot of time with good people in nice mm, endeavors in, uh, in nice situations you know I, I really enjoyed my time with other people and I haven't really felt very lonely over the last uh, two weeks although it still comes back and it will be coming back in the future there's no doubt about it um, but what I what, and after that, I, I thought that um, maybe I do. Uh, maybe I don't re even have to do this retreat. Maybe maybe I can just you know keep being with other people and it'll be cool. Um, but the thing is, like I said, this is short term. And for long term, I think befriending myself and l being able to live with uh, short term loneliness is is a great skill. And I definitely want to improve that. It's not just about loneliness. It's, it's about being in all uncomfortable situations. And being in peace with them but then this actually enable enable me and ena this enables me uh, to deal with them more efficiently without the pressure that oh what can I do in this situation I don't know how to behave no it's okay it's just like without pressure you can you can uh, respond to it more um, more efficiently like I say uh, so that's definitely something uh, I still want to do and the thing is like like I said, the diet is not my primary goal and other uh, technicalities are not my primary goal. I definitely want to deal with these issues uh, very seriously. I'm really determined to, to improve myself in certain in particular areas of my life. But the primary goal is just to, the primary task is just to observe my own behavior and then report it on a video once a day. That's it, even if I'm feeling like shit, and I just couldn't do it like in the morning, which is the best, <laughs> the best part of the day to do that from my uh, experience. Like just to go for a walk and you know sit in the park or somewhere, uh, or even at home in my bed or whatever, and just report how I'm feeling, how I'm doing, how I'm being. Um, then 
even if I can't do this in the morning or in the afternoon, then at night just 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 launch this camera and just say I feel like she blah 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 and and then just try to observe what what it really means that when you, when I'm feeling like when I'm feeling like shit what exactly does it mean like how I'm feeling where like how would, how do I know that I'm feeling like shit and then maybe when you when I get some rest <laughs> try to learn from from my uh, from my life like what how, like what caused me uh, to feel like shit and then maybe create a different environment well I'll be less likely to feel like shit and that's that's basically why I'm doing it and that's my approach um, so yeah, uh, that's it for for today. So so maybe the best time, depending on what what I'm starting, uh, then the answer will be different. What, when is the best time to start? Um, if my only goal was diet, then the best time would be in a few days, where I have new plays and I can start everything from the beginning and so on. But for this particular uh, project, the best time is to start now. Just just whether it be a camera or or a imaginary friend or a real friend whatever that will be available for me uh, just start learning from my behavior and I want to uh, start this project now and I have just done it so yeah thank you for your attention and uh, I hope uh, this will be interesting for for me for sure I'm, I'm sure it will be uh, interesting for me but it will add a lot of more meaning to this and a lot of motivation uh, if um, other people such as yourself Hopefully, uh, we'll find it interesting and we'll be both able to uh, learn from it. So, yeah, thank you so much and have a good day. Bye-bye.